The following is a sponsored program furnished by the Today's Home Remodeler Television Network. Welcome to today's Home Remodeler. I'm Stuart Keith and on today's show, well, we're learning more about the components and walking through the professional installation of a 50-year roof system. We'll begin with Andrew Larson from Larson Home Services, who will introduce our project and explain the telltale signs you should look for that let you know when it's time to replace your roof. We'll then take a look at the components, explain their role, and see the professional installation process that allows his company to offer a 50-year non-prorated warranty on this GAF Golden Pledge roofing system. So we have a lot to cover today, and we'll get started right after these messages. A home is one of the biggest investments in life that we make. And although it's built from the ground up, it's really protected from the roof down. But how well it's protected depends on the quality and installation of its roofing components. So let's begin with Andrew Larson from Larson Home Services, who introduces our project and explains why these homeowners opted for the GAF Golden Pledge roof that comes with a 50-year non-prorated warranty. Well, Andrew, it's a perfect day for re-roofing, and these guys are making short work of the tear-off process. Absolutely. You know, this house was built in the 1970s. It's had two or three roofs put on it, but today we're going to tear it all down to wood. We're going to put a brand new roof on it, hopefully the last roof this house has to see. It's got to be music to the ears of the homeowners never to have to worry again about their roof. Absolutely. You know, the first thing I notice is the sheer number of workers you have up there making short work of the tear-off. You know, we're always going to have eight or nine guys because when we start a tear-off, we want to be able to finish that roof in one day. You know, the worst thing that could happen is you get up there, you tear a roof off, and for some reason it doesn't get finished, and we get bad weather. You're leaving someone's home, all their possessions, their biggest investment unprotected. We always want to make sure we get the roof done. No matter what the roof is, one day you're going to have it done. One day, and if it's bigger than this, we're going to bring more guys. Wow, that's awesome to hear. And that's probably a good question for a homeowner gathering estimates and looking at different contractors. Ask that question, how long is it going to take? And hopefully it's only going to take one day. Absolutely. You know, I drive around sometimes, I see other contractors will have a roof tarped off, not finished, and I would lose sleep at night over that. Sure. Okay, another thing I notice are the tarps, and that to me is the attention to detail and pride in the work. They don't want to damage this homeowner's landscape. Absolutely. You know, one thing that we do do that most other roofers don't is we use a dump truck instead of dumpsters. And the reason for that is we can get it close to the home and 90% of the material can be taken directly from the roof into the dump truck. That way we're not throwing it onto the ground and trying to pick everything up when it's all done. But before that, yes, we're going to put tarps over everything to protect as much as we can. You know, talking to the homeowners, they're a little upset that they had put 30-year shingles on and they were thinking they were going to last 30 years, but that isn't always the case, is No, it? and you know, actually, Stu, that 30 years, that's a prorated deal, so as the years go on, that warranty becomes worth less and less, and that's only under perfect conditions. Is their ventilation good enough? Is their insulation good enough? You know, what, what type of temperature variations are we getting? Here in Wisconsin, we have big temperature variations. We'll get 100 degrees in the summer, we'll get minus 30 in the winter. That's hard on anything. So what are some of the telltale signs a homeowner can look for to let them know that their roof needs to be replaced? Well, there's a lot of things they can look for. You know, one of the things they can see is granular loss. And they can look at that at the bottom of the downspouts. The rain will wash those granules off. They'll come out the end of the downspout. Now that means that shingle is getting baked. You know, once it loses those granules, that's the protection. That's what protects it from the heat of the sun. After it loses those, they'll actually start to curl. 
that's a telltale sign right there. It's time to get a new roof. And you know, when I walked around this before the guys got up there and started tearing off, another thing I noticed was some moss growth on the far east end underneath those oak trees. Yeah, you know, moss growth, it's not getting a lot of sunlight and it's really not good for the shingles at all. And so what led these homeowners to contact you? Were they starting to see some of those telltale signs? Well, actually, you know, these homeowners here have been LeafGuard customers ours for about 10 years. And, you know, they put some additions onto the home and they wanted to finish off the gutters. And as I was here walking around going over the gutters with them, I pointed out the roof and I said, you know, it looks like you've, you've got some granular loss and it looks like it's about time we should take a look at this roof. That's when they pointed out to me that they've actually had some leaking. So I said, all right, we better take a closer look. Sure, and again, as you mentioned previously, they're never gonna have to worry about that leaking ever again. Absolutely not. You know, the roof we're putting on here has a lifetime non-prorated warranty and they should never have to worry about their roof. Well, I'm curious to see where that leaking was occurring and seeing if there's any damage to the roof decking itself. Let's head up there and take a look. All right, sounds good. Now up here on the roof, Andrew, you can see this is the moss I was talking about underneath this oak tree. Yeah, that's why we always recommend to homeowners to trim the trees back. You know, this moss and mildew can lead to premature wear and tear on the roof. Oh man, look at the granular loss you were alluding to earlier. This is really bad. I mean, from down below, I didn't notice it that much, but up here you can really see it. You know, I could actually see some of this from the ground, but once I got up here, you could really see it. All the edging, the granulars have fallen off and you can see as we wipe how easy they come off right now. It'd actually be no time at all before we'd start to see these shingles curling up. Yeah, look at that. And they're very brittle too, very I noticed. Brittle. Yep. All you're looking at right here is fiberglass matting. And look at how thin they were to begin with. Yeah, you know, the shingles that we're gonna be putting on here are about 50% thicker than the shingles they have on here now. A lot better protection for their home. Okay, and I know that when I was walking around, I noticed an awful lot of turtle vents and then sewer vents. Are you gonna be replacing all those? We replace everything. We do a complete system. That's the only way we can guarantee they don't have to worry about their roof ever again. And speaking of sewer vents, oh my gosh, look at this. They actually caulked around here. What do I, it's the wrong size. You know, you'd be surprised too. We see stuff like this all the time. They came out with a six inch vent when they needed a four inch and they just caulked the top of it. Oh my gosh, how misleading to the homeowners. They think they're getting their roof professionally redone and whoever does it took a shortcut because they didn't have the right products. Absolutely. And they just put a little caulk on there and now 18 years later, the homeowners are experiencing leaks. Were there some of the leaks in this area? Yep, this is right where one of their leaks was coming in, right here. Oh, that's frustrating from a homeowner standpoint. You know, another area of concern I know they mentioned were the valleys. Yep. You know, in regards to the valley, Stu, this is really disheartening. These homeowners were told that they were getting ice and water and leak barrier in these valleys. You're kidding, and when you tore off, there was nothing here. There's nothing in here. You know, Sue, we see stuff like that all the time. That's why when we do a roof, we document everything with pictures. All the different underlayments, all the different ice and waters, everything that we do, our entire system is documented for the homeowner, and we actually give them a picture book when it's all done, so they know exactly what's on their roof, because once the shingles are on, nobody knows what's under there. Sure, here's a great case in point. They thought they got what they were paying for, but obviously, again, another contractor taking a shortcut, out of sight, out of mind, they're gone, and the homeowners suffer the consequences. You know, another thing I noticed, look at this is plywood decking. This is all separating. Yep. I mean, that's caused by moisture damage. Correct. There was no ice and water. There's a hole right here. This was another spot that they were getting leaks in the home, and absolutely moisture was getting underneath the shingles making the plywood separate right here. We're gonna have to replace this. Okay, you say you're gonna have to replace it. Do you guys come prepared for this so there's no delays? We do, we always bring extra OSB for the roofs because you know we don't know what we're gonna run into and we don't want any delays. Okay, so again, key point for the homeowner when they're gathering estimates, ask your contractor, not only what components are they gonna use, but are they gonna document every step of the process so the homeowner can rest assured they're getting a good, long-lasting product that they're investing in. Absolutely. Your home is your biggest investment. Built from the ground up, but protected from the roof down. Stick around. We'll look at the components that make up the GAF Golden Pledge Roofing System next. So far in today's show, we've learned why these homeowners were replacing their 18-year-old roof with a system that they'll never need to worry about for the next 50 years. Now let's learn more about the components that make this possible as we continue with Andrew Larson from Larson Home Services.
Well, Andrew, this is as good a place as any to talk about the components. And before we get into those, I recognize this piece of OSB. This is the cutout where you replace the rotted plywood back in that back valley. Yeah, you know, that was one of their problem spots. That's where they had leaking. And when we tore everything off, we definitely saw signs of moisture separating the old plywood. There was some soft stuff. So we're not going to just cover that up. We're always going to pull that bad stuff out, put some new stuff in. So when we start, we're starting it out right. And another area we always take care of is where you had old turtle vents. We always put a ridge vent on top of the house. So where those turtle vent holes were, we use something called Easy Plugs. That's got OSB on it. It makes a nice fit for us. And what's really important is it makes it safe if somebody else is going up on that roof so there's not a hole underneath the shingle. Oh, sure. I know I've heard that in the past. And unfortunately, if somebody were to walk up there and you didn't use an Easy Plug or something that's extremely solid like that, somebody could be walking on your roof and fall right through. Yep, leg could go right through, absolutely. Okay, well, the beauty of this is that decking looks surprisingly in good shape. It does. And so let's get into the components that are gonna ensure that it stays that way so that these homeowners never have to worry about replacing this roof. Exactly. You know, I tell everybody, the most important thing about the roof is what's underneath it. The shingles just cover up the roofing system and the roofing system is what allows us to give that 50 year non-prorated warranty on their labor and material for this roof. So the first thing we start off with is our ice and water. And we use an upgraded ice and water called StormGuard. You peel that off there, it's very, very sticky. Oh my gosh, is it ever. Yeah. And this is in a shady area in the sun. This really adheres well. It sticks right down. You can't pull it off once it adheres. And what this does is protects in the winter when you get ice damming and snow on the roof. Sometimes it can make its way underneath the shingles, but this ensures that it's not getting to the decking and it's not coming inside the house. And I know that you had told me how disappointing it was for the homeowners when you tore off the old existing roof there was very little of this yeah. in the valleys where it was leaking and they were told that this had been installed right and a valley is one of the biggest spots that we needed through the years we learned that valleys are a big leak point they're a trouble area all the waters channeled to a valley ice and snow sit in the valleys tree debris sits in the valleys gets wet and will actually prematurely wear on those shingles so we wanna make sure that we make our valleys bulletproof. So what we do is we lay three feet of ice and water right down the center of the valley. Then we take this called W Valley. Oh, a metal we, valley, yep. nice. I actually like to call this a gutter for the valley because it allows water, ice and snow, and tree debris to wash off the roof a lot easier than when you just have a woven valley with shingles. Oh, I see what you're saying because if you don't have that, that's gonna accumulate or there's an opportunity for that debris to accumulate in those valleys yep. and actually wear down the shingles. It does, it's a big wear point. Now, a lot of people might be good with this, but we take it one step further. We're gonna take more ice and water, three feet more, and go off of each side of this valley. You're gonna have more than six feet in the valley. Absolutely, nine feet of ice and water in the valley. That way we know it's never gonna leak. Okay, so the valleys are gonna be taken care of. Another area I noticed you ran it, which I haven't seen on too many roofs, is up the rake, or right along the edge of the roof going up the gable. Yep, you know, that's part of us giving our 50-year Golden Pledge warranty. We have to have that there, and that protects the house against wind-blown rain. If we get a heavy storm with big winds and it's blowing, that's protecting the edge of the roof there against water getting underneath the shingles. And I gotta hand it to you guys, I love the attention to detail using ice and water shield around the penetrations. I saw around one of the sewer vents, they carefully cut it yep. and fit it to perfection there and then around one of the chimneys. Absolutely, you know, when we talked to the homeowner, we learned that that pipe penetration was a leak point. So we're gonna make sure that we ice and water around all of that stuff so we don't ever have any leaking issues again. And, and you know, I don't see nearly as much ice and water shield being installed on roofs as with your system. It probably costs more for this, but if you want the ultimate peace of mind in a 50 year warranty, this is the type of component that they should be installing. Absolutely, you know, Stu, if you drive past a house and look at a roof that we did and someone else did, they might look the same, but this is the stuff. This is the stuff that costs more, but this is the stuff that gives you the protection and allows us to give you that warranty. And you know, from a homeowner standpoint, those are the type of factors and the components that you should be comparing apples to apples in an estimate. Because I know different companies can use the same shingles as you do, but if you don't go to the attention to detail and the care to install the underlayments yep. like this, that not only is the difference in longevity, but the difference in cost as well. Absolutely, big difference in cost. We always say, if it's not in writing or they didn't show it to you, you're probably not getting it. So once the ice and water shield has been installed, what's the next component? Our underlayment. 
So what you'll see on most houses is something called felt paper. It's sure. black and goes over the entire roof. Well, what we use is something called deck armor. Now, yeah, <laughs> pretty strong stuff, isn't it? Yeah, there's no way you're gonna be able to tear that. No, this stuff is, you, you cannot tear it and it is completely waterproof and it's actually one way breathable. So what is the role of this deck armor? This deck armor is the ultimate roof deck protection. You know, in the unlikely event that water was to get underneath your shingles, you don't have to worry because this is protecting your house. So again, with any of these underlayment components, although they're out of sight and out of mind, they're probably the most important step in a professional roofing job. Yes, this stuff is the most important stuff. The roofing system is what allows us to give a 50 year warranty on your roof. Stay tuned, we'll continue with the components that make up this 50 year roofing system and see the beautiful end result next. Throughout today's show, we've learned why these homeowners were disappointed and felt misled by the previous roofing contractor, who took quite a few shortcuts that led to numerous leaks and the eventual failure of their roof after only 18 years. We then learned how a roof is really a system and is only as good as its underlying components. Now let's finish up with Andrew Larson from Larson Home Services to see what shingles were selected and see the beautiful end result of this GAF Golden Pledge roof with a 50 year non prorated warranty. Well, we've already learned about the importance of the underlayment. Now let's move on to the visual aspect of a new 50 year roofing system and that's the shingles themselves. Sure. These homeowners decided to go with an upgraded Grand Sequoia shingle by GAF. Now, because of that, there's a couple different things that we gotta do. First and foremost is our starter strip. Now we do this on every roof, but the importance of this is this tar strip you see right here. Oh, and I assume that this tar strip heats up in the hot summer sun and then adheres to whatever's on top of it? Yep, this is down right at the edge of the roof and this is what allows us to give a 130 mile an hour wind rating. Whoa, that's some good peace of mind there. Yeah, absolutely. Now, I mentioned this was a different roof. This was an upgraded roof. So we actually have to take one step further and go with a color match starter as well. And that's gonna seal right down to that starter strip. Oh, is this ever gonna be nice? Now again, on a typical lower end shingle, you don't do this. We do not need this, but the reason we need it is because of this shingle. Now, I will point out real quick here, see these tar strips on the oh, edge yeah. of these tabs? Oh, look at them, three of them right yes. there. Yes, we have a lot, of, a lot of sealing going on there. This is why we need those color match, because of this type of shingle right here. Boy, is that gonna look nice. I like the shadowing right here, the dark granules there and the light ones. It looks like it's gonna add a lot of depth to the roof, especially compared to what was there before. It does, compared to that flat three tab, this gives a lot of depth and definition to the house. Now this is the type of shingle right here that separates your house from the neighbor, really makes your house stand out. And somebody might say, hey, you're in a wooded setting here, who's gonna see it? Well, everybody who pulls up to your house, you're still gonna see it. Absolutely. And you're gonna get the longevity because it's a nice, beefy, heavy, well-made shingle, but yep. the look is gonna be second to none. Now, how challenging is it for the guys to install these? Does the pattern even matter? You know, on most shingles, the pattern really doesn't matter but on this one it absolutely does these guys are factory trained to lay these properly so we have to lay the pattern properly so it looks right and seals right Boy, while you're making an investment in a high quality shingle you want it installed properly that's for sure absolutely so do your homework you're going to get your best result now once the shingles are there you had mentioned you're going with a ridge vent versus the old turtle vents so what we use is something called GAF Cobra Snow Country since we live in Wisconsin. Sure. And the, what makes this unique is how wide it is. It gives a maximal protection on the peak of the roof from snow blowing in. So you can see we've got our fiberglass here to protect it from getting in. And that's a pretty important aspect too. You talked about wind blowing rain, but it's more likely in our climate, snow in the winter time to get blown up into an attic. Absolutely, I've seen it before. I've seen snow in the attics and this is what's gonna protect this house and maximize their ventilation. And along the lines of maximizing ventilation, is this more effective than a turtle vent? Yeah, actually 40 feet of this is equivalent to 18 turtle vents. So we're really gonna maximize the ventilation on this house, which maximizes the longevity of the shingles. Okay, once this is installed, you gotta cover it up with something, right? Correct. We actually use something called GAF Timber Tech Ridge Cap. This is twice as thick as a typical wow. ridge cap. Look at that. Well, that makes sense, because it's on the top of the roof. It's on the very peak. It's the most exposed part of the roof. So this lays over just like that, and then we keep going right on down. The roof's complete. 
Boy, and they're not ever going to have to worry about replacing this roof. I mean, touch on that warranty that you can offer because of all these outstanding components. Because we're a GAF Master Elite roofer and we do the system we do, we're able to give these homeowners a 50-year non-prorated labor and material warranty. So once this roof is done, anything's wrong with this roof, it's covered 100%. Boy, that is the ultimate in peace of mind. And probably for a few thousand dollars more, you can live with the peace of mind knowing that you're never gonna have to worry about replacing your roof. Yep, this is a one and done deal. Once this is up, they never have to worry about it again. Well, I really appreciate you coming on and walking us through the professional installation process. Awesome, thank you. The preceding was a sponsored program furnished by the Today's Home Remodeler Television Network.